sleepy on the page. Do you want fries with that? <laughs> That's right. It's time for the Flippy Update. You know him. You love him. Flippy is our colloquial name for the disembodied robot arms that are taking our jobs, enslaving our children, and flirting with our spouses. We use talking about Flippy as a way to explore all the new and fun and exciting ways that robots are taking over the world and how there's uh, nothing we can do about it. Today's Flippy Update is coming from Yahoo.com. It is being mirrored from Gizmodo and Gans. There's trouble in paradise, my friend, because the headline reads MIT's Boston Dynamics is suing ghost robotics over robot dog plagiarism. Ooh, robot dog. Pla- so one robot dog copied off another robot dog. Is that what's happening? Robo plagiarism, Gans. It's a problem that's sweeping the nation. You know, it used to be plagiarism was uh, a crime only to be committed by college students <laughs> or high schoolers or, you know, students uh, who are on average, well, average, uh, being suspected of foul play by their teachers or whatever. But no, no longer. Now the robots are uh, going after each other. So let's see what it has to say. That's right. Boston Dynamics is suing Ghost Robotics over roda- robot dog plagiarism. Uh, and it goes like this. Boston Dynamics wants to ensure its place in the creepy robot dog market. The tech company has filed a complaint against Philadelphia-based Ghost Robotics, claiming the lat- that the latter has infringed on uh, Boston Dynamics' uh, patents. Are you, are you, are you- yeah, no, excuse me for a moment. <laughs> yeah, I had a complete breakdown of my browser, oh, okay. but I'm back now. The complaint, in uh, which was obtained and reported on by the Register, alleges that Ghost Robotics copied Boston Dynamics's shtick <laughs> of a semi-autonomous robot dog. Good, good, good reporting, this, Gizmodo. So they took yeah. the shtick. You know, of course, we've seen patents, complaints and copyrights and things like this. But no, Uh, apparently, if you just take somebody's shtick, uh, then you can sue them for it Uh, with their Vision 60 and Spirit 40. A dog that resembles Boston Dynamics' spot. (gasps) Boston Dynamics points out in the 110 page complaint that the way Vision 60 and Spirit 40 collect site information, process environmental data and even climb stairs could be an infringement of several patents. The MIT spinoff has gotten approved since its founding in 1992. The patented climbing stairs, Gons. In 92, Boston Dynamics seemingly holding a monopoly in the robot dog space, huh? It seems like that's uh, what they're going for. Boston Dynamics is also demanding a jury trial. Oh, wow. And this is an interesting aspect of it because you can demand a jury trial, but usually with cases like this, you know, it never makes it to a jury trial. Interesting. Um, But it seems Boston Dynamics, who is infamous for making, uh, you know, marketing material videos with their robots. Every time, you know, robots or robot dogs start trending on Twitter, it's almost always a video of Boston Dynamics that they released with their robots doing jumping jacks or a dance routine or something. Uh, usually, you know, the the mass media obsession with robots comes directly from the Boston Dynamics media department. And I think that that's why they're demanding a jury trial because they may not have what it takes to win the case just with a judge. Mm, they but need I public. Think they know. Yeah. They need the public mm-hmm. rah rah. Like, Hey, yeah, we, they we, are. We love these dancing robots. You know, there were exactly. the ghost robotics trying to steal from the dancing robot people that created the uh, mm-hmm. fun robots. And, on top of that, they're first to market. Yep. So they're the first ones that come to mind when a regular person thinks of a robot dog. They spend, you know, a lot of time and energy and resources on marketing. So m- turning this into a jury trial, putting it up to a jury of their peers really works in their benefit. And I think goes to show exactly the uh, the the game plan that we've been pointing out. Where it's, you know, the robot dogs, it's not necessarily 
or robots in general, it's not necessarily just about making a good robot. It's about engineering the public's perception of your robots uh, in order to have them change their uh, idea about robots, have them uh, gear their lives, structure their lives in response to the robot's existence. You know, part of the the flippy update forever has been the social engineering aspect of uh, of these robots. And I think this case in particular shows that Boston Dynamics knows that they have some sort of grapple on the public's mind uh, when it comes to the robots. Yeah, so it goes back to the title of this episode, which will ring throughout all the stories today. But currency of trust, they they mm-hmm. need currency the public trust. trust. You know, not exactly. Not that, you know, not like a trust, like a financial thing, but more of a you know ambiguous uh, rally of the social sphere i guess so yes the mm-hmm. social engineering aspect of it and you know darpa behind it so they have all the levers so ghost robotics yep. if they really want to fight this thing it's one of those issues where it's like you can try but you will we will suck you dry of all your resources you know you'll be spending all your money on legal battles yeah. and we They've are darpa and we will the, we, we have the us government behind yeah them. we have the abyss of uh just ever funding type of thing so yeah, yeah you can try but you'll lose either way i don't know this yep. is a, I think this was a, a very poignant signal uh, to the trends that we've been pointing out with the Flippy update for years. Uh, so there you go. A nice uh, ding ding for this show and the listeners and producers of this show ahead of the game once again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, okay. There you go. That's your Flippy update for the day. Fantastic. This is a good one. And we, I wish we had more time to actually spend on it. Short but know. sweet. Yeah, short but sweet.